another CEO emphasizes need for sensible crypto regulations in the U.S. Paolo Arduino, stablecoin, Tether. Regulations would allow stablecoins to be a lifeline for people. Tether CEO, last updated, October 23, 2024 at 13 colon 10 GMT plus 3. Author, Suja Sundararajan. Author, Suja Sundararajan. About author. Suja has been recognized as Purple Circle Women in Crypto 2024 Purple Circle by Be in Crypto for her leadership in crypto journalism. Author profile. Share. Copied. Last updated. October 23, 2024 at 13 colon 10 GMT plus 3. Why trust Cryptonews? With over a decade of crypto coverage, Cryptonews delivers authoritative insights you can rely on. Our veteran team of journalists and analysts combines in-depth market knowledge with hands-on testing of blockchain technologies. We maintain strict editorial standards, ensuring factual accuracy and impartial reporting on both established cryptocurrencies and emerging projects. Our long-standing presence in the industry and commitment to quality journalism make Cryptonews a trusted source in the dynamic world of digital assets. Read more about Cryptonews. Paolo Arduino, CEO of the stablecoin issuer Tether, USDT, expressed optimism that the U.S. will soon adopt sensible crypto regulations. Arduino appeared virtually to the D.C. audience during D.C. Fintech Week on Tuesday. He explained how Tether cooperates with global governments and how the firm looks forward to regulations. He also stressed Tether's commitment to compliance, highlighting the importance of regulations for increased consumer protection and innovation. I think it's very, very important that sensible crypto regulations and stablecoin regulations will come to fruition in a way that will protect the end users. He added that these regulations would allow stablecoins to be a lifeline for people who don't have the same opportunities as people in the U.S. and Europe. According to CryptoQuant, USDT accounts for about 71% of the USD-backed stablecoins market, having a market cap of $120 billion. During his virtual speech, the Tether CEO underscored the company's cooperation with law enforcement agencies in 45 countries. This includes the FBI and the U.S. Secret Service. Arduino also emphasized that Tether would prioritize combating illicit crypto use and safeguarding blockchain-based payment facilities. Tether's criticism over lack of transparency. The stablecoin giant faced criticism from a consumer watchdog that flagged Tether for lack of transparency. In September, Consumers Research, a consumer protection group, released a report that claimed Tether failed to undergo an independent audit. Tether's continual failure to undergo an independent audit raises a distressing red flag for the company and its USDT product. The report also cited transparency issues and Tether's situation during the collapse of FTX and Alameda Research. Arduino's remarks come at a time when stablecoins are becoming increasingly important to institutions. Jeremy Allaire, CEO at the Stablecoin Issuer Circle, recently predicted that stablecoins will account for 10% of the global economy over the next 10 years. Additionally, in Q2 2024, stablecoin transaction volume surpassed that of Visa, $8.5 trillion against Visa's $3.9 trillion. This increase demonstrated their growing utility and acceptance. USDT, which now has more than 330 million users, survived billions in redemptions in 2022, Arduino noted. This accounts for over 10% of its reserves, which he described as a type of pressure that almost no bank was able to survive. Follow us on Google News.